Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate the reverse charging capabilities and reverse charging speed test in the Mi Pad 5 device. Right now, I do have the Mi Pad 5 with me and let's find out friends. So how, what is the speed if you're trying to charge other smartphone using the Mi Pad 5? That's what I'm going to demonstrate exactly in this video. And we do know the tablet supports the reverse charging. And right now, I do have the USB digital tester to point out exact what is going on with the overall water speed. So let's find out. And right now, I do have the two different cables. So one is the Type-C to Type-C cable. Another one is a normal USB to Type-C cable. Let's see under which circumstance we are able to reach slightly higher uh, fast charging capabilities. Right now I did charge my tab to 100% right now as you can see. It's charged. And is a for example I, I did take the Poco X3 Pro. So as a sample device to test the fast charging speeds. Right now the battery is about 20% battery capacity in this device at this moment as you can see 20% capacity. Let's find out what is the power input the phone is actually taking if you try to connect the Mi Pad 5. So in terms of the reverse charging capabilities I'll try to turn off the screen as well. Let's see. Right now it's connected and we got the indication saying quick charge. Just kind of as you can see quick charge we got the indication as well and let's see the water speed what the water speed is charging at this moment at this moment right now the water speed is about six watts we're getting as you can see 6.40 watt and you can see the ampere speeds 1.3 at ampere speeds so definitely friends it's going to take a lot of time as well regarding the amperes and everything milliampere speeds also you can see here what is the milliampere speeds So these are milliampere speeds in the Poco X3 Pro device while using the reverse charging capabilities of the Mi Pad 5. As you can see friends, exact demonstration. This complete setup is connected to the tablet itself, tablet and the phone. You can clearly see it using the Type-C to Type-C cable in this video for the demonstration. So overall we are getting about 200 kind of uh, ampere speeds and the water speed is about 6 watts. It's charging with the 6.38 watts. That's what the speed is. If you are trying to use the type c cable now let's use the usb so usb to type c cable let's find out in this way what will be the reverse charging capabilities and is the cable let me to take out the cable right now and at this moment i'm trying to connect first to the tablet And we got the indication nothing like no quick charge no quick charge indication we got nothing at all and you can the same cable is connected right now i mean different cable usb to type c cable and you can see the charging speed it's not good so and the water speed is about two watts that's quite very low as you can see 2.14 watts that's it so in case if you want to achieve that kind of fast charging capabilities you need to use the type c to type c cable only then you can actually get the fast charging happening otherwise you cannot get any fast charging so it's gonna take a lot of time so before if i try to use a type c to type c cable it showed quick charge but right now it did not show any quick charge that's a clear example friends and clear demonstration what's going on with the reverse charging capabilities meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching and i'll for more updates and bye